great day, everyone. Jerisha Hawk here. I'm the income strategist and founder of the Goal Getter Group, where I help women who work a nine to five uh, build a business on the side. My phone just like did something crazy, so like let's do this and take two. Um, but I'm really excited to chat with you guys today because today is my last day as a full time employee of a, of a Fortune 500 company. And um, it's a really, I don't know, like special day to me. Um, you know, this is something that I really wasn't anticipating coming so quickly or so soon, but it's here and I'm fully embracing it. Um, so basically, for some of you guys who aren't super familiar with my background or my story, I, I'm a civil engineer by trade and I work for a Fortune 500 company um, doing like large scale engineering projects. And uh, I manage $400 million pipeline projects. I've done a lot of work in the utility space. And um, I resigned from my job two weeks ago. And I just walked out of my office. And I'm in my car right now. And it's my last day as a full-time employee. So one thing about me that I think is uniquely different about a lot of other business coaches and just like other people in this online space that are telling you to quit your job is one, I don't believe everybody should go quit their job. Um, I really think it's important for us to figure out what our happy is, right? Like what is it in life that we are, we, sh we are actively pursuing and how do we define success for ourselves? And a lot of mine goes back to my personal mission. It goes back to my legacy that I really... Um, I want to be known for increasing the representation of women, especially women of color in higher level leadership roles, both within co corporate America and within entrepreneurship. And the reason for that is being an engineer, you know, I'm in a 1% in the country. Being a black female engineer, I'm in a 1%. And going to class, you're always like the only one in the classroom. Um, you're typically one of three females out of a lecture hall of 500 people. And then I get into corporate America and I look up my chain of command and there's nobody who looks like me sitting at the top. And it was really discouraging and kind of like, I don't know, it was really discouraging and kind of heartbreaking because I've always had these aspirations of being more, taking on higher level leadership roles, um, having a, a greater impact with the work that I do, but I did not, there was such a lack of representation of women, um, particularly, but especially women of color in these lot higher roles. So I've always had this passion of, okay, well, what can I be doing right now with my current lifestyle to help, to help close that gap? And you look at it, a lot of black women especially um, are leaning into this corporate infrastructure and they're not really getting anywhere. We say that we want higher level leadership roles. We say that we want more responsibility. We're getting degrees at a quicker rate than anybody else. And you still see such a lack of representation of us at the top. So you are seeing a shift where women um, are maybe not leaving corporate, but they're starting their own businesses and they're trying to create those opportunities for themselves. So that's kind of the boat I'm in right now. Um, I don't I think the unique thing about me also is that I love my job. I love the company I work for. I love corporate America. I love the work that I do, the impact I'm able to have, um, the responsibilities I've been able to have. But at the same time, even though I love my nine to five, so I'm not leaving because I hate my job or because it's like life sucking out of me or a lot of the stuff you typically hear why people leave their job. I'm leaving my job because I know God has called me to do something greater and in a larger capacity that I'm no longer able to fully serve or like bring out into the world through my nine to five. So that's why I chose to leave um, and just chose to actively pursue being a full-time entrepreneur in my business because I truly believe that like again going back to my legacy like that's the work I know I've been called to do and I know I'm able to have that impact through my business so one thing about all of this um, as you guys probably noticed in the title it's called corporate dropout and there are a lot of individuals who are looking for that freedom they, they want the financial freedom they want financial flexibility they you know a lot of you guys here you want to be living in your fullest potential you want to be doing work that you're passionate about and maybe you haven't found a place for yourself in the corporate structure to actively do that um, one I'm not advocating that any and everybody goes and quits their job because I don't think leaving corporate America is the answer for most people honestly you know I really think it's about how do you define success for yourself what is your happy like what do you want out of life and then how do you create a lifestyle that supports that that greater vision for who God has called you to be that's the goal the goal is not to say like F corporate I hate corporate corporate sucks like 
I want to be my own boss. Most people do not know how to be their own boss. And it's and being a full-time entrepreneur is like, it's tough shit. Um, and not to say that it's a bad thing. Like, I mean, some of us, that's definitely what we've been called to do and what we need to be doing. But I think it's really more about what is your happy and how do you define success for yourself? And again, how do you create a lifestyle that supports that that supports that and that allows you to actively pursue getting that. Um, and that's what I'm after right now. And that's what I do through my work in the goal getter group. Um, and through all of my programs, fuck fixed income, goal getter elite, like all of my one-on-one -on -one coaching is one making sure that people understand. Oh gosh, people are doing the most in my driveway right now. Um, one, making sure that people fully understand what their happy is and how you define success for yourself. But then two, understanding, okay, what are the parameters in which you need to adjust to make that happen? So for one, some of us, corporate America, you need to stay. Um, but it's made more so about how do you find a company that suits your needs and uh, finding a, a company and a culture that allows you to be the best of who you are. Or maybe that means you need to stay in corporate and find your sweet spot, but you also need to have a side hustle. Because I, one, I also don't believe that anybody should be living on fixed income. Nobody should just be living paycheck to paycheck and only have one stream of income. That's not the way to financial wealth. That's not the way to financial freedom. So I believe everybody should have a side hustle or other investments of some sort um, because nothing is guaranteed, nothing is promised. We should be planning like we're gonna live forever, but living like we're gonna die today. So, and I think the way that you do that is by having multiple multiple streams of income. So some people it's how can you maintain your current job but have additional streams of income that are like fuck fixed income where you're bringing in an extra four figures a month so you have that extra flexibility in your lifestyle and with your family. And then another pocket of you is it is time for you to leave corporate America and be a full-time entrepreneur and truly drop out of the corporate system. But when I say corporate dropout, I don't necessarily mean you leaving corporate America. I mean dropping out of the, the system that society has cultivated and like ingrained in us that we have to be following. The system that you have to follow this process, you have to get this degree, you have to know these people, you need to interview this way and to get this job and you need to put in your time in order for you to make X amount of money. Like I think it's bullshit. And the corporate system that America is really designed around is what I think all of us should be dropping out of not necessarily corporate America and like that infrastructure but dropping out of the corporate system that a lot of us have been just society has ingrained in us that we have to do in order to be successful to have the American dream and it's like I'm 26 years old have an engineering degree the government considers me wealthy because I don't have kids I make really good money at my corporate job and like tech, technically by on paper, I'm living the American dream right now. I make very good money. I have an amazing career. I have an amazing degree. I get to do amazing things. But it's just like this can't be it. There's no way I could sit here and honestly say that I can do this, what I'm doing right now for the next 30 years of my life. No way. I'm dropping out of this corporate system that society has tried to like brainwash us into thinking that that's how we have to live our life. I want to live my happy, and that includes what God has called me to be and what God has called me to do. Um, and that's why I'm in this boat right now, and that's why I chose to resign from my job and pursue full-time entrepreneurship, because I really want to be intentional on supporting more women who are like me um, in creating financial independence in their lives. And it's been a blessing to see that just 14 months ago, I had this idea of coming up with some sort of business that you guys kind of see today, um, in the sense that, I mean, the name was different. I went through three name iterations the first six months, changed my business model about a million times. Um, but at the point now where my side hustle was making me double, triple what I was making at my nine to five job, working half the amount of time that I work in my nine to five job. Talk about like, screw the system, corporate dropout. Like I'm literally making double and triple what I make at my nine to five, the American dream job title that most of us are wishing that we had. And don't get me wrong that I'm beyond grateful that I was able to have because a lot of people don't get this. A lot of people are living paycheck to paycheck. A lot of people are living at the poverty level. And it's like, it's time to change guys. We all have full control over our life. We have full control over how much money we make. We have full control over creating a life and designing a life that God has for us. And what God has for us is true abundance. And that is far beyond like these limiting beliefs of what the corporate system has taught us that we're allowed to have in this world. And I want you to know that. 
Um, I'm realizing it now, like literally stuff on my vision board, the apartment that I just got and moved into on Saturday, this high rise, beautiful building with floor to ceiling windows, me being able to work 15 to 20 hours a week where I'm literally making double and triple what I make at my nine to five job. What? While still working my nine to five. So I'm just going, I'm just, I want you guys to use me as an example and to know that if Jerisha can do this, I can do this too. Um, and I don't know. I'm just like really stoked and excited that I'm in this boat. Um, I really appreciate everybody who has invested in me, who has supported me along this journey. All of my mentors, my advisors, um, my goal getters, um, who are my clients, who are my business besties, like who are, who've even invested in me and believed in me enough to really be the fire that kept burning that allowed me to get to this space. Um, cause we're here now. So I am doing a month long series called Corporate Dropout and every week I'm going to be teaching you guys a different, there's going to be a different workshop every week. Um, and if any of you guys are interested in more of like this corporate dropout life cycle or a lifestyle and just what that means and what that could mean for you, I know a lot of you are interested in being full-time entrepreneurs or even just at the space where you're trying to, how do I create more money while working my nine to five? Um, we're going to talk about that during this corporate dropout series. Why is everybody coming this way? Like y'all see my car here and I'm on a Facebook live, so I'm not moving, sir. Thank you. Um, but I'm going to be talking all about that. Like, how do you, uh, most people that I know who they want to start their business, it's like, how do I replace my income um, before I take a leap? And I also am not the big advocate on that you need a leap from your job. It's really how can you create and build a bridge and have the choice and have the option to walk across, right? I don't necessarily believe that everybody, some people that God has called them to take a leap. And if God has called you to do that, step out on faith and do what God has called you to do. Um, but for me, it wasn't like I had this idea and I just need to jump off the deep end and like pray and wish that I'm going to fall okay. I was really intentional on building a bridge, building a foundation, building a business that literally replaced, doubled and tripled my current income. And now I have the option. There's no pressure. Um, I, I have the option to choose to walk across. And I think that for a lot of individuals, I'm really disheartened by the lack of communication around that in our online industry in regards to business coaching um, in this whole online space. Because everybody's like, quit your job, fuck corporate, take the leap, like jump off the bridge. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Safety first. Pray about it. But how can we build a solid foundation for you to have the option to walk across where you feel comfortable and not out of fear, but fear, but feel sustainable in what you're doing and not just like leaping off without a parachute. Um, and that's just my story. And that's like the way I do things. I do have clients who do take the leap and I support them in the leap. Um, but for a lot of people, that's not their story. And for me, it wasn't my story. Um, so I, I decided to build a bridge. I built a business that had a solid foundation. And really today is the day that I just chose to walk across. Latoya is the engineer in me. I'm like, do y'all have y'all PPE on? Have we thought through all the risks? Have we created contingency plans? Do we have backup options? You know, that is totally the engineer in me. Um, but I know everybody isn't ready to just leap. And I don't think everybody should feel this pressure. And I think the online industry definitely creates this pressure that like, it's a bad thing that you have a job. Hello? Hello, we all need to be employed like one entrepreneurship is not for everybody so so many people out here selling the dream half off and it's really gonna fuck people up because um, it's not meant for them but I think that all of us have the opportunity to create multiple streams of income while working your nine to five like I'm literally went from making a thousand dollars in a month to five thousand dollars in a month to ten thousand dollars in a month to doing over $30,000 in sales in one month while working my demanding nine to five job where I'm putting in 40 to 50 hours a week. It's possible. It is possible. So um, that's what I'm advocating and pushing for. That one, we all should be dropping out of the corporate, corporate system that you have to live life one way and um, that you don't have control over your destiny or over like what your happy is and saying, fuck that. Saying, fuck fixed income. We all are able and have the power. We all have the gift 
Um, we all, God has put a seed in all of us, but it's our responsibility to put that seed in, in fertile soil and to nurture it and to water it and to grow it in a way that God has designed us to do so. So corporate dropout, that's what all corporate dropouts about. So like I said, I'm doing a three part video series over the next month, teaching how to replace your income while working your nine to five in your business. Um, what to do about taxes, 401k and insurance when you do choose to leave your corporate job um, and just really how to turn your ideas into income and really how to go to that next level. So if you're at all even remotely interested, all you have to do, it's free. This is free 99, y'all. This is the free 99. All you have to do is just click the link in the title of this Facebook Live description, put in your name, put in your email address um, and over the next couple days you'll start to receive some emails from me that allow you to you know, get notified when the videos are going to be and you can come join for a free workshop and a free training um, and get that support. Cause I, I don't think anybody should be living like it's time for us to be disruptors in the sense that fuck the system. Like, I feel like I'm breaking the system right now because it's like I, I'm, I'm allowed to be this happy. I'm allowed to make this much money at my age working half the amount of time they tell us that I'm supposed to work. I'm allowed to like live in this dream apartment and y'all, I moved in on Saturday into like literally the, the apartment that was on my vision board. Floor to ceiling windows on the highest floor in the building, high rise apartment in a downtown area. Like, I feel like I'm living in somebody's Airbnb. Like, it does not feel like it. Like, I feel like it's too good for me to have, if that makes sense. Like, it's like, how is this possible? And in actuality, it's just, it's unfamiliar because we haven't been taught that we can have this. We've been taught that like we can enjoy the good life after we retire fuck that like that's not you we we have on average in a good lifetime 80 years to live the first 20 years of our life we're kids we're enjoying life the next 60 years of our life or the next 40 years of that gap we're like working you know you're in a nine to five and praise i pray to god that you're doing something you enjoy because that's 40 years of your life that like you can't get back and nobody should be living that 20 to 60 year age day to day like mediocre like not happy complacent not living in their purpose like nobody should have to give that 40 years away just to enjoy the last 20 but you already old and i hope you got good hips and i hope you've saved up enough money to actually like to live why do we have to wait till we're 65 to start living i'm not doing it and anybody on my team and in my squad like we're going to be doing that now Figure out what your happy is. Define success on your own terms. Fuck the system. You know, be the corporate dropout in regards to like, screw this system that we've been, that's been designed around us, that's been told that we have to go through. We got to put in our time in order to live the life and to get the American dream. Like, screw that. And I'm living testimony that like 26 years old, y'all, making double, triple than what I make in my corporate job right now. While, and I built that business while working my nine to five. I literally just moved into my vision board apartment. I'm about to f get me a dog at the end of the year. The only thing missing right now is I need a, a good chocolate. I need a fine, a fine chocolate brother to bring me a light breakfast on a Tuesday morning. My goal getters know what I'm talking about. Y'all know my great day. That's the only thing missing from my story right now. So I'm being patient though. God is going to deliver. Okay, I'm going to be patient for the man. But everything else I'm getting right now. I'm not waiting until I'm 65 to start living. So, like I said, guys, feel free to click the link in the title, hop on the corporate bandwagon, corporate dropout. Um, we're going to do a video series over the next month, really hitting home some of the key things that I know that are holding a lot of you back and that was holding me back, honestly. Um, and just again, I appreciate the love. I appreciate the support. I appreciate every single person who's ever liked, commented, shared. Um, spent their hard-earned money on me that, that you guys are even taking the time right now to even like give your time to even listen and support me. I appreciate every one of you. Tierra, I know y'all know. Tierra, Takora, Latoya, y'all know my great day. I'm waiting for my fine chocolate brother. Light breakfast, toast, freshly squeezed orange juice at like 9.37 on a Tuesday morning. That's freedom. High rise. Y'all already know. Y'all, let me stop. I'm going to start going again and get all excited. But just thank you guys so much. And really just as a thank you, I want to give back and support others on, on their journey. So that's really what the corporate dropout video series is going to be about. 
Um, if you guys have additional questions, like leave it in the comments. But we're gonna talk all about how to drop out of corporate. Um, and really, is 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 you leaving your jobs and like is that what you should be doing? Helping you even navigate what are your options. Um, and really helping you create like how do you define success on your own terms and then how do you create a lifestyle that supports that and that allows you to have that um, now not waiting until retirement so just thank you guys so much and um, if you know anybody that you think corporate dropout would be helpful with or that somebody else you know like needs this share this video or share the link with them girl chocolate brother and lunch I'm just telling y'all, get you a great day. I love everything you bring to the coaching space. Your transparency is amazing. Thank you so much, Jasmine. Wesley laughing at us. Look, it's, it's real. It's real. It's real. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you, thank you. Oh, you guys, are, I really appreciate the love, everyone. So, yeah, definitely click the link in the title. Sign up. It's absolutely free. We're going to get started this Thursday. Um... And just again, I really appreciate you guys. Just thanks for supporting me. Mark, I can't believe I have my Hawk Independence Day. 7, 17, 17, it is a good day. So really the next month is all about giving back to you guys and supporting you guys along your corporate dropout journey. I'm about to go to my uh, going away dinner with my coworkers and have me a nice little lemon drop. Um, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, y'all.